Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Are you kidding me? Did you guys see it yesterday? They had the reveal for next year's FLL theme models. They even did a mission um, on that reveal. So what I'm gonna do in this video is go over that with you, um, show you everything, and I'm super pumped. So they had the reveal in Houston yesterday and you're able to see the models. Obviously we have to wait till August to know what the missions are but I'm super excited about what I saw. So my, you know, my teaser on what the theme one was completely off, but as, we, as they did teaser two, I started to think construction. So the theme for next year is City Shaper. So it's really cool, I'm gonna have to show it to you. Stay with me. So what I'm gonna do in this video is go over just uh, some clips of the reveal, just to show you the really important things. I mean, um, not that it wasn't all important, uh, but they were talking about the prime spike and um, things like that. But I'm gonna go straight to what the models look like, what the mat looks like, and I'm gonna even look at the mission that they did um, in yesterday's reveal. So let's go to the video. Okay, so they're about to reveal the mat and the models. I think they took too long to show it to us, but hey, that's what drama is all about. And come on, let's reveal this. Check that out. So there is City Shaper. You can see the Prime Spike uh, robot. On the other table, they have the Lego EV3 Mindstorms. And check out this model connecting both tables. I'm like, shoot, how are people supposed to practice that if they only have one table? But anyway, there you go, City Shaper. I love the models. I, I just was drawn to these yellow cranes. Um, I definitely like this model in the middle. I'm just curious how that's going to all work. So what this uh, Spike Prime robot and the EV3 robot that you're going to see on the other table, they're ready to do a mission. And uh, they basically said they've never done it before, but they're going to actually reveal one of the missions to us, uh, you know, beforehand, before August. So um, it definitely looks like it's one of those, you know, how every year in FLL they have an easy mission. I hope it's for a lot of points. Um, but it's... Basically, going, they're going to show us what this mission looks like. Um, I love how the black line comes out of base. That's pretty cool. So he's about ready to show us the mission. And he goes forward, lifts up that lever, and it drops. Uh, the, the, the crane drops the load. And I don't know if you saw the EV3 robot on the other side. But... Just taking all of the, uh, just taking it all in. I, I just love what I see. I'm just curious again, how are we going to practice uh, with that middle model right there if you only have one table? I have two tables, but man, that's going to be hard to push them together like this. Okay, there's the EV3 robot. And there you go. The table setup guy has to get that ready. I'm curious what those models are over there, right by his arm. And there he goes, going forward, lifting it up, and the crane drops its load. So I'm curious how many points that is, and uh, I know all the teams can do that. So that's that's kind of cool to see. Um, but, you know, I, I didn't think they were going to show us anything complicated. So... As we take a look um, at the mat and models, um, I, I'm just kind of blown away. Um, it's just neat to see uh, all of this in advance and to kind of wrap my head around uh, the, the, you know, the mat and where the models are and what these missions are going to be. But, you know, we can wait till August to find that out. But it's just really cool to see everything beforehand. So um, basically what, you know, uh, Spike Prime, that's going to be something interesting to see how many teams in, incorporate Spike Prime into their robots for next season. Um, I've definitely ordered some of those biscuits. I don't know if you saw my last video on Spike Prime. 
but I, I just want to, uh, I want to get my hands on a, at least a few of those kits just to see what my students think about it and, you know, if they want to incorporate uh, Spike Prime in their LEGO EV3 robot. So we'll see. And it's going to be kind of cool to see when it comes out. I, I definitely want to see if teams actually go to the Spike Prime and, you know, completely, uh, you know, move away from Mindstorms, uh, but we'll see. So um, there you go, guys. There is the reveal for the Matt models. Um, I'm completely blown away. I'm super pumped and excited. And, you know, uh, that's just just really cool to see this. Okay, guys, so there you have it. I'm super excited. I don't know if you can tell. So City Shaper, um, I'm kind of bummed because I had done a video on teaser number two and uh, my mind shifted from electricity from teaser one to I had written down some notes. I had written some notes on construction. I had written some notes on urbanization. Um, I, I saw that hydroelectric dam. So I'm thinking and then I saw those trees pop up. So I was thinking something along the line of construction or keeping the, the planet safe, even though we, you know, push forward with progress like that. But it all now came down to City Shaper. So uh, you guys can tell me in the comments section what you thought about the, the mat and the models and that first mission that they showed us. Um, you can give me your feedback on Spike Prime. Uh, if your team is going to incorporate Spike Prime, if you're even going to buy uh, Spike Prime, um, like I said, I've already bought some of those uh, biscuits. Uh, thank you. Uh, I forgot who it was that told me about that, but I'll put that link in the description for those biscuits. Um, uh, I think there were a little over a dollar a piece. Um, but I just want to you know, share with you guys that reveal because it was super exciting uh, to see and to just kind of know in advance what's gonna be ahead of us. Okay guys, so again, let me know what you think. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Lego Robotics. I'm out.